Hey, Shalom, Akimor, praise it to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakaq, Kodash, Double Honor to the Apostles, Elders of Great Millstone, Salute to Sincere Akim out there of the Hope for the Elect. Right? And this, uh, this video is basically about the straight gate that we've entered in, man. You know? So, you, you know, you brothers that came into this truth, you were all warned when you were on the other side, man, about, you know, the temptations and the hell and everything that you're going to have to endure while serving the uh, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. All right, while conducting his ministry, okay. So now you know, you know, the new year, he sort of bought in the new year 2023. You heard the apostles say, you know, house cleaning has started, all right. So, you know, this is definitely the time to be more and more serious about doing this work, man. You know, it's supposed to be serious, man, about doing this work and pretty much, man, stick to the program, you know. You know, don't try to do nothing new, don't try to, you know, uh. Uh, try to come up with new new ideas to try to persuade men to come into this truth. Because, hey, we know the Lord is only dealing with uh, an elect few out of the nation of Israel. Okay? So you don't need to come up with these bright ideas to make your channel more appealing and, and, and you know, to obtain more views. This ain't a popularity contest, man. All right? Just keep, stick to the script, do what you've been doing, which is basically making these videos out, make, putting these videos up the prophesy, man. All right. The main spirit we supposed to be in is the spirit of prophecy. Okay. Because we come in the name of Yahweh Shah, right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And the scriptures tell you that Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So you got a lot of these Israelite groups out there. Like I, I've stated this before, a lot of them are wonderful teachers. I don't take nothing from them in that aspect. You know, a lot of them guys um, can break down the law, even though, you know, they like to cherry pick which law they want to bring out. You know, but when it comes to, you know, breaking down the law, you know, and, 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 and teaching men to keep the law, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. That's a good thing. The Pharisees were good at that. Okay. All right. But then you have a lot of accounts from people in their own uh, camp that'll sit there and tell you how much them guys are hypocrites, man. You know, so they don't even follow the very own laws that they teach at the end of the day. All right. So this ain't about that, man. This is all about prophesying, okay? Even though we do touch on the history and we do touch on the laws. We the ones who bring out the laws that these other groups don't really want to want to focus on, man. Okay? Or they basically try to twist up uh, certain laws, in particular the law on rape, all right? Okay? And then they and then when we bring it out, they want to slander us and call us all kind of rapists and, and teach tell men that we teach rape or that we... Uh, we we or we we ordain for you to go out there and rape people. We don't do that, man. Okay, we don't do that. But what we do, what we are doing, is teaching the teaching the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah or the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah according to truth. All right, and the law, the first five books of Moses, is part of His word. Okay, in this wicked society, we're not able to keep these laws a hundred percent. That's why the scriptures say, "Rehearse the righteous acts." But the whole point of the matter is, you know, <clears throat> uh, stick stick to them prophecies, man. Stick to teaching these prophecies, right? The MOTB, the destruction of America, okay? The, the 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 famine that's coming to America, you know, the times of Jacob's trouble, which is coming here soon and shortly. You know, these are the times that we're living in, man. So this is the most important thing we should be teaching, all right? These prophecies, okay? Shit, because hell. For you, you know, at any given moment, the, uh, a certain event, a staged event, can change the world for the worse, man. All right, and more, more so, we know and believe that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah is coming back. So, what are we supposed to do? We supposed to teach the, the congregation, right, and the believers that Yahweh Shah is coming back, and this is what you have to uh, be aware of and prepare for. Okay, basically, doom. This is this is the ultimate doomsday prepping, man. All right. This is the ultimate doomsday prepping because the majority of these people in the world are going to be um, condemned. They're going to be doomed. They're going to see their damnation. All right. But ultimately, if we're of the elect, if we continue to endure until the end, then that's going to be our salvation, man. And that's what we look forward to. At least that's the mindset you're supposed to have, man. You're supposed to look forward to that, man. All right. And the apostles and the elders have been leading the way. Keeping it, to, you know, to keep us on the righteous path so that we won't stray aside, man. 
you know, so you don't get beside yourself, okay? And, you know, and, and, and wind up falling back into to the temptations of this wicked ass world, man. All right? So um, I'm going to read the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate that is. Hold on. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay? In the straight gate, the word straight is basically talking about a, a position of difficulty. All right? And when you come in this truth, it ain't going to be easy, man. This ain't a walk in the park, man. All right? You've been warned before you came in this truth the difficulties that you're going to face. Certain brothers gave you certain examples, man, of things that they had to endure when they came into this truth as far as, you know, losing jobs, Right. Um, being outcasted from your from the family, being homeless, you know, in plenty of other situations, man. You know, the whole struggle of our ministry to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is not going to be an easy thing, man. All right. It says for wide is the gate and broad is the way that lead up to destruction. Yeah. Most of these people out here that are that, that, that are all into this world. OK, with the, with the world considers good. Which is really evil, like the scriptures tell you. All right, woe unto them that that consider good evil and evil good, right? So, the majority of the people in this world are all into the church, you know, all into you know worldly festival festivities and such. And guess what? Ultimately, that's going to lead to their demise, man. That's what's going to lead to their demise. Okay, they're all on, um, they're all being prepped and and looking forward to the so-called white man's new world order. You know, this new technological age, you know, with the digital currency and, 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 um, and you know, accepting transgenderism and homosexuality and all this sick, demonic shit that the so-called white man pushes is going to lead to their destruction. It's going to lead to their utter demise in the end. OK, you know, check out these churches, man. They, you know, they, they claim to be God fearing, but they don't really fear God, man. You know, they allow homosexuals, man. They allow uh, adulterers to come into their churches. They allow warlocks and witches, people that sell drugs and, and criminals to come into their congregation as long as they willing to give out some money, man. You know, well, as long as they willing to put money in that plate, you know, to support that pork chop pastor that's going to sit there and feed them lies and, and push prosperity onto them in the form of what? Uh, you coming out of your pocket, man, and giving them some ducats. Okay, and that's going to ultimately lead to these people's destruction. It says, and many there be which go in thereat. Yeah, the majority of the people in this world. All right. The scriptures tell you follow not a multitude to do evil. So the majority of these people in this world are doing evil, man. Okay. And when you come to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, you're basically removing yourself from the world. And that's what makes the, 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 the work that we do such a difficult thing, man. All right. That's that's and that's a fact, man. That's a fact. Every brother has their own uh, their, their, their own account of their journey in into this truth. All right. And guess what? Once you once 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 you've been in this thing, no matter how long you've been in this thing, the pain and the suffering don't stop, man. OK, that's why the Lord said he's long suffering to us, Lord, man. OK. In, in your in your patience, possessing your souls, all right. So this is going to be a hard ordeal, man. When you do, when you're in this truth, the reason to say because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it, all right. Yeah, man. So not a lot of people's gonna gonna uh come into this truth, and not a lot of people's gonna be delivered, all right. Because the Lord has a particular few. The elect out of the nation of Israel that he's going to deliver from out of damnation and destruction. OK. And once again, the nation of Israel is the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. That you see on the 12 tribes chart. All right. And now, of course, you got uh, brothers and sisters scattered throughout the world, man. You know, so you're going to have Israelites in Africa, Israelites in Europe, Israelites in Asia, Australia. OK. All right. But if you believe uh Solely in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah in his word, you know, and you know, you do your, your best your the best of your ability to act on it, all right, then chances are you're an Israelite, man. More than likely you're an Israelite. 
Okay? You know? Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, and that's, hey, that's what you got to do when you come in this truth, man. Prepare your soul to be tempted constantly, man. You know? That's why we got to stay prayed up. All right? The apostles always stress that. Uh, being con constantly in prayer. Okay? In the importance of prayer. All right? And stress how much prayer actually works, man. Okay? Because, you know, there's, there's demons we have to deal with, man. You know, the most harmful demon out there is the inner demons that we have, man. You know, that voice in your head that's constantly telling you, that's constantly uh, giving you wicked thoughts, man. You know, and you got to fight and pray and, and beg Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah to not allow you to act on those thoughts, man. Okay? Or speak a lot of those thoughts to offend, brothers, man. All right? So you have to rebuke that demon, that inner demon, man, within yourself. Because, of course, outside of the body, we it's, it's manifested that there's demons. We see these people in this world, all right? Like I said, man, you got transformers out there, okay? You got uh, homosexuals, you got uh, low-life degenerates up and down the block, Jake, that have mutilated their damn bodies, okay? You, these women that are just totally out of order, man, running around being whores and sluts and trying to set brothers up, all right? You know? So, you know, th those, are the, those are the demons that are basically, that are, uh, basically reveal themselves unto you. You know, which are basically easier to avoid, man. But that inner demon, man, them thoughts that, them wicked thoughts that come in, in, into your mind, in your spirit, you know, that's the one that you got to pray to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah to rebuke, okay? All right? And not allow you to act on those demonic thoughts, man, okay? And yeah, there's times where you're going to have to fast, man, you know, because those demons are powerful, all right? So I'm going to read that again. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, man. So you're going to certainly be tempted, man. You know, when the Sabbath comes, you know, that's that's that, that's when that, you know, that's when um that's when, you know, you're going to have all these promiscuous women wanting to jump on your jock and tempt you to pop them and all of that, man. You know. OK, you know, it's, it's going to be all kind of temptations, man, you know. Um, money, your money, your financial situation. Okay, you might uh, you might get uh, you you might get somebody might try to tempt you to make extra money by doing some some awful shit, some something harmful to somebody, man. You know. Okay, because I know when I, when I when I came in the truth, I'll speak for myself. Okay, when I came in the truth. You know, all kind of fucking wicked opportunities opened up for me, man. You know? You know? All kind of wicked opportunities, man. People off, you know, uh, telling me to get down with them to do this wicked act, do that wicked act, all for money, for filthy lucre's sake, man. Okay? As far as harming my own people, man. All right? Now, when I was in the world, uh, when I was in the world, actually trying to get money or, 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 uh, was looking for a certain opportunity, that shit was nowhere to be found, you know? And I understand, you know, now that that was the Lord always looking out for me, man. You know? That was the Lord always looking out for me. Because when I was in the world and I was seeking uh, some of those wicked opportunities to present itself to me, to make some money, all right? It, it, I, it, 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 was, it was nowhere, in, it was nowhere in sight, man. But once I got in the truth, oh man, my, my, my jack was just ringing left and right, man. With dudes hitting me with all kind of crazy propositions, man, to do some type of wicked shit to harm brothers, you know, to harm to harm another Israelite, to harm another Jake, you know, to receive a payment for it, man. Okay? All right? And when I, you know, brothers know when, you know, when we come in this truth, we, we, we really basically asked out, man, you know? We, you know, brothers don't come in this truth um, rich. A lot of us don't come in here, come in the truth stable, man. And like I said, speaking for myself, you know, when I was, when I first came in the truth, I was doing all kind of odd jobs, man. You know, going to, I was in, going to different temp agencies and all kind of shit, man. So yeah, them demons came to tempt me, 
in order to you know to make you know to make my own financial situation better, right? And I had to shut it down, man. I had to shut it down. Okay, so it says in verse two, it says, "Set thy heart aright and constantly endure." That's what we supposed to do, man. How do you set your heart aright? Okay, you pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You stay into them scriptures and you keep on doing the work. Constantly endure. Don't let nothing come in between you and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. As far as doing his fulfilling his ministry, all right. It says, and make no haste in time of trouble. Yeah, man. So don't 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 get tempted to fall off, man. All right. You know because there's always going to be trouble and, and tribulations in this truth, man. All right. We're going through a trial right now. This is all the trial phase, man. The moment that you pick up that sword, right, and you start teaching out this word according to what you've learned from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, all right, that's when the tribulation starts, man. That's when the tribulation starts. And the moment you start teaching this word, that's the moment, that's pretty much an oath you done took to obey Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Okay. All right, it says, uh, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's right, man. And that's what we striving for, man. Really salvation. Okay. We can only save ourselves, man. You know, we can only, I mean, Salaki, we can't save ourselves, but I mean, we have to be, we have to be doing this for ourselves so that we can be saved. All right. At the end, because you know, you know, this gift is a spiritual gift. I can't impart faith to you and no man can impart faith to me. Right? So we pray to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah for more faith, to strengthen our faith. Okay? So that what? So that we can receive that reward of salvation at the end. All right? And that's what it's all about, man. Enduring and pleasing Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah through faith, through the gift of faith, which that can only be imparted unto us by Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. All right? This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17, and I'm going to end it on this note. It says, pray without ceasing. Okay? So like the apostles and the elders say, all right, we got to stay prayed up, man. Okay? We got to stay prayed up. You know, them demons is out there. The, you know, the, the, the time of Esau's rulership is diminishing. Some spirits are going to be more proactive, man. Okay? To try to tempt you and mislead you. From uh from from the ways from following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we have to stay prayed up, man, and rebuke those demons, man. Okay? And pray for more faith, man. Alright? I'm gonna end this video on that note. Say shalom. I'll be rocking to you, brothers. I'll be rocking to you in the next one. Shalom.